What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I made a video, so let me go ahead and address that first because there's been a lot of stuff that's just going on uh, obviously in the world and just in my life since the last video, which I think has been well over a year. Um, anyway, I've just been kind of trying to get my money right. I've been focusing on working out a lot. I got a really great home gym set up. Uh, I want to show you guys that. And then just you know, saving money, focusing on getting my finances right, things like that. So, uh, you know, YouTube videos have kind of been not a, not a priority right now. So on this, I did upgrade the heads unit to a JVC unit with Apple CarPlay, and I did upgrade the front speakers to JBL front speakers, which I'm going to show you a little bit about right now. The front door speakers are six by eights. The stock ones, they looked like they were probably like five and a quarter, so I couldn't really tell. Uh, and they had little tweeters. They were, they were really cheap speakers. And this is a 2007 Ford Explorer. This is from a time where Ford was not known for turning out the highest quality you know, things out there. I mean, pretty reliable, but not at high quality by any means. I mean, this thing creaks like none other, you know, but. So the head unit is uh, it's very nice. It allows you to adjust the head unit depending on the type of car it is. It has Apple CarPlay, it has Android Auto. It's a wired connection, which I ran through the center console, I actually drilled a hole and then just ran the wire through it. It just seemed like a, you know, a much better idea than trying to just have a wire coming straight out of the dashboard. It's much cleaner, it's much easier to use. On all the process for installing the head unit, it was really easy. You just pulled the dash off, basically. I mean, it's it's really self-explanatory. There's some screws that are exposed when you lift up the uh, center console thing, and then you just take those out, pull that out, it exposes some more screws, you undo those, pull that forward, then it exposes some more screws which are holding the stock head unit in, you pull that out, and then once you pull that out, you go ahead and put your new one in. All right, so in order to change the door speakers on this car, it's just like any other car that has door speakers. You're gonna have to remove the whole entire door panel. This car has six, seven millimeter screws holding it on. There are two that are exposed at the bottom. There are two that are on, behind here at each end. And then there are two more that are right behind the door handle and kind of in front of the window switch. Once you do that, you can just lift the entire panel just straight up and it will come up. One tip is to have the door locked and it'll be a lot easier. But don't lock yourself out of the car either. Off with the screwdriver and behind it, you'll see there are two bolts. I think they're seven millimeters. I'll uh, put a caption to be sure. Okay, so at this point I have the door panel loose and off and um, yeah, I've just hooked the, uh, the bungee, a bungee cord around over there. Uh, I'm gonna find something else to hook onto at the other end. Maybe uh, I'll just tie it one onto the steering wheel or something. Just hold this out of the way. I mean, technically you can unplug all this, do undo the door latch, et cetera, et cetera. But why would I, why would I go to that much trouble when I can just do it like this. I mean, I'm not even holding it now. It'd probably be fine just to leave it like that and let the door door pull support it. Uh, either way, yeah, you just, so you just have to um, unbolt these. I'm not sure, once again, I'm not 100% sure. The other size was a seven millimeter, just for the record, let's see. That's not a seven, because that's this is way too big. So maybe a four or five, I don't know, we'll see. And just like that, it comes right out. So it just was sitting like that, just pulled right out, unplugged it, and uh, the whole thing comes out as one piece. So I guess this was originally a five and a quarter and a little tweeter, and I'm replacing it with just one six by eight that should fit that hole without any additional hardware. Should just be able to plug it right on in. So um, I've got the adapters over here that came with the set. So I'll plug these right on up. And then the speakers are right there, they'll go in. I'll reuse the old hardware and put everything back together. It'll be as simple as that. Anyway guys, so that's just uh, kind of what I've been up to. This uh, car has been getting a little bit of a treatment here, just kind of making it a little bit more of a uh, nice car to drive around in, you know. Um, and it's, it's a pretty good car to drive around. It's got lots of, you know, it's got lots of power for what it is. You know, it's torquey. 
uh, fun to drive and now it's got a good technology. Apple CarPlay is awesome. I really love it. Now I've got good sound with the new speakers. Uh, and hey, just thanks for checking out this video. I'll be uploading again sometime soon.